friend. He comes from China, and he is one of the hardest working students in their class. You can see library occupied most of his time. First, could you introduce yourself? Well, now I was a postgraduate student in the media management. Okay. Uh, so why why you choose study university? Well, before I come here, um, I heard the University of Stirling is a most beautiful university in the UK. Okay. And uh, of course, as you can see outside, there are a lot of beautiful view uh, and uh, more lovely animals. I think uh, this kind of environment uh, is hard to see in China's university. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so what, what's your course, what's your subject? Uh, media management? Yeah. Okay, so why why you choose this subject? Well, <clears throat> in China, uh, I was majoring in photography. Wow. So well, and awesome. I was a professional photographer in China, okay. and uh, I think the pho uh, photographer and the media industry they are have the link. Yes. And uh, the photographer can be as a part okay. of the media industry. This is the first reason why I choose this major. Okay. Uh, another reason is, of course, my parents. Uh, my parents uh, want, uh, want me to choose a job uh, in the media industry, just like uh, some manager in the media group, just like this. So, so, so it's good for your future career of job? Yes, of course. I think the study here, I can um, <coughs> open, my, um, open my view and um, um, to learn more. Knowledge and what can hard to learn in the China. So how's your how's your subject going on? It's good. Well, no, no. <laughs> all the subject is is past, but uh, actually only have sixty. Sixty. Yeah. It's a good grade. I think. <laughs> so so. So um, can I ask you what what is the most difficult thing you had to face when you studying out of China? Into an, or in Scotland? Well, many different. The first mm. thing is uh, in here, I studied. Uh, we have to prepare a lot of um, presentation and uh, cinemas, but in China, actually, we don't have more um, presentation. Um, during the print, uh, before the presentation, I have to do a lot of homework yeah. just uh, to. Uh, I need more re reference and to prepare the words what I need to speak. Actually, if, um, before that, uh, sometimes I, I prefer to write on the paper and uh, focus on my grammar. Actually, uh, my teacher taught me um, when I <coughs> presentation, I need more air contact with the teachers, with my classmates. But in China, even I have the, uh, even I have the presentation, I just needed to find some one or two key points, and uh, during the presentation I can speak a lot because it's my, I'm the native speaker in China. <laughs> yes, of course. So you think it's easier to do the presentations in China? Yes, the most uh, problem is the language, okay. the reading language, spoken language, academic language, every. Everything is sometimes difficult. Okay. So I, I heard uh, a lot of Chinese students, yeah. they hate the presentations and the seminars. They feel nervous and embarrassed when they're speaking to the old class. Why do you think the reason? Um, I think it is uh, one of the personality of all the Chinese because uh, naturally we are shy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes uh, um, we feel nervous to talk with others because okay. during the conversation I don't we don't know what should uh, we talk mm -hmm. in the next step and uh, sometimes uh, the Chinese uh, mm -hmm. we have different culture with others yeah. so some sometimes it uh, it's easier to cause some problem 
So to avoid this problem, we maybe choose to talk with the Chinese. 大家好，我叫 Peter. Okay. 嗯、um, ，我在斯特林这里学的是投资分析专业，之前在国内学的是金融专业。那你来这之前为什么要选择投资分析这个专业？呃，首先的话，投资分析这个专业可以算是我之前专业的一个分支，一个更加具体化的一个方向。然后我选这个专业的目的，主要是为了以后找更好的工作。所以说，来国外留学一年是为你将来的工作规划做一个准备对对对。那经过国内的本科的四年学习和这里一年的研究生学习，你觉得相对于学习环境这一块来说，国内和国外有什么不同？嗯、呃，首先的话是。呃，这边的老师更多的是给你一个影子，很多东西你要自己去看书，自己自学，自己完成 course work， 就是你自己要有个 motivation。然后，另外的话是，呃，这边的学的东西比较偏重于实际操作，很多东西是通过日常的一些实际操作，一些 Excel 这些练习来来完成。然后在国内主要就是平常的一些作业，就感觉学的东西和做的东西是两码事。那我想了解一下，你们班有多少名外国人呢？啊，我们班大概不超过八个。那你平常在做一些呃课后的作业，或者是其他准备的时候，比如说 presentation， 你是愿意和老外一起，还是愿意和中国人一起？嗯 c o s w o r k 的话，我更偏向于组里面既有老外，又有中国人。嗯。嗯，因为这样子的话。因为毕竟，嗯，来自中国的话，大家的思维都偏向于一个方向，然后多一个老外，可能大家的思维方式不一样，然后相互之间可以就是更发散、更广泛一些。然后另外更重要的一点是，嗯，老外在一些东西上面其实更讲究，就是团队协作能力上比中国人更强，就这样。那这一年的学习结束以后，你有什么收获或者感受吗？嗯。首先，最强的是专业素养吧，学的东西都能用、嗯，所以应该在以后找工作上会有很大的帮助。然后第二个是，呃，因为这里比较讲究自己的一个自学，所以对你自己的一个责任感啊，一个自学能力都会有提高。好，嗯，首先介绍一下你自己吧。嗯、呃，我叫 Christy， 呃，我是投资分析的。一名在读研究生。你当初为什么选择投资分析这个专业？嗯、呃，我自己本身对这个专业非常感兴趣。嗯。嗯，然后这个专业我觉得含金量特别高，就业机会特别大。好，呃，那你在中国本科就读四年的专业和现在这个专业有什么联系吗？嗯、呃，有一些联系。我本科读的是国际贸易，嗯、呃，学的一些知识涉及到，嗯、呃，我现在本专业所学的一些。所以我觉得还是有联系的。那么，就生活和学习两方面而言，你觉得首先在学习方面，和你在中国的时候有什么不同？嗯，我觉得有很大的不同。嗯，因为在中国，嗯，学习的方式，老师更加倾向于给你一个正确的答案，告诉你，嗯，你所学习的东西或者你所学习的知识。它会给你一种引导性的作用，而在国外，嗯，更加注重的是你一个自主能力和一个嗯思维开发能力。那呃，你觉得在这里的课程呃，相对于国内来说，有没有更加轻松或者是更加繁忙？更加繁忙，我觉得。嗯，怎么说？嗯，就我这个专业而言，我觉得我的课程非常多。好的，那么。相对于生活而言的话，你觉得和国内有什么不同？我可以依靠我的父母，我不需要太多的操心我生活上的事情。但是在国外，我只能靠我自己。好的，那么很多中国留学生啊，现在呃、嗯、来国外留学了以后，他们不把精力放在学习上，而是把精力放在吃喝玩乐上。你觉得你对这种现象有什么看法？其实我不赞同，就是来这。留学把过多的精力放在吃喝玩乐上，因为我觉得你花了钱来这儿读书，嗯，我们最主要的任务应该是学习，而不是享受。
always play basketball in leisure time. You know, British people are not interested in basketball. They love football, so we can go to the basketball court at any time. It's totally different from China, right? We play computer games with friends like Dota, League of Legends. It can release pressure because we have a lot of work. Actually, not so much work in class, but you need to have the discipline to immediately start studying. Sometimes we celebrate friends' birthday party. We went to Chinese restaurant, had big meal, and same birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Just like that. Today I'm going to visit my cousin. She graduated from University of Warwick, and he has worked abroad for two years as an accountant. I think she definitely is a good interviewer. Hello.、Um, first, could you introduce yourself? Um. Sure. Um. Uh, hello, I'm Charlotte. I'm currently、uh, working as an accountant in Birmingham. I、uh, graduated from Warwick University last year,、uh, actually as、um, two years ago.、Uh, so basically, now I'm I've been working for two years. And before Warwick, I did my、uh, undergraduate study in Beijing,、uh, China. So I came to do my master in Warwick like two years ago, and then after I finished my study, I just started working immediately. So yeah, so now I'm working now. So、uh, your subject is is accounting, right? Yeah, yeah. I、uh, my major has been has always been accounting and finance because I I did accounting and finance in uni, and then I I also did like accounting and finance.、Um, For my masters in Warwick. So why、yeah. you choose this subject? Well, um, I'm. It's for think, a future career or. Yeah,、job. yeah, that's um, future career is a quite important reason because accounting and finance is quite like a popular, a hot um, major in China because it's a, it's easier for you to get a job if you like study accounting and finance related subjects, and also. I think I'm personally I'm quite good at math and like logical thinking, so I I um I think this this is quite suitable for me. So yeah. I heard that you also have the work experience in China. Oh、well, yeah, that's not like actual working experience. That that's just like internship. But yeah, when I did my uni uh in Beijing, I I went. Well, I I had like internship experience, so I did two months intern、uh, internship in PwC, so that's another accounting firm,、um, and I also I worked for、um, another like small company like for another a couple of months just to get like certain experience like social experience, yeah. Okay, um, actually, I'm quite interesting. A, you find any differences between China and the UK, when you work in, in term in terms of working, yeah, um, yeah, it's quite different. Um, well, for example, well, I think um in the UK people are quite like chilled, like they are more relaxed than people in China, um, because I I I feel that's probably because we are so crowded in China. We have so many people, and the competition is just it's just. Horrible. So like when young people start working, they tend to be really like exhausted. They try really hard to like show, um, to to show to show themselves like to try to well、okay. show that show to their managers, their boss、mm-hmm. like what their capability like how yeah just 
but in but here it's like people is quite relaxed. They do their job properly, but like from nine to five. But after five, it's their own time. They 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 have no obligation to continue working. Whereas in China, like working overtime is really really common. Actually, work like finish on time is is not it's not an, a normal thing. Mm. So yeah. If you give you a choice, would you prefer to go back to China or still live live here and work here? <laughs> it's um. It's really difficult because um, as because you, you uh, as told me you you were back. To yeah, yeah. I, I I think for me, I will finally well, I will opt, ultimately I will go back to China, but um, I will I will prefer to have this um, overseas working experience before I can go back so that I can be more competitive when uh, when I go back. But it's it's really got it's really difficult to make a choice because um, as some. Um, like foreigner, we have all all of our like families, friends, and for me, like my boyfriend, they're all in China. Uh -huh. So if you are like, working here, it basically means you you can't see them very often. Like you can go back maybe once or twice a year, but it's still like hard. I feel lonely. Yeah. It, yeah, and you don't have many friends here. You like, you're living in a completely different environment, a different culture, so it's difficult. But on the contrary, the like working environment here is quite nice. You, you, you can well. I I would say your living like quality quality is quite high, uh, yeah. quite high compared to, like in China. So, yeah, it's really difficult. But in terms of career development, I would say yeah, you, you, you probably want, want to stay want. here. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the language is still a problem for you. Yeah, right? yeah, that's okay. definitely a problem. Um. Actually, I'm I'm already like I'm better now. But bef um, when I first started working, it's really difficult for me because um, my my uh, I'm working as an accountant, well auditor actually. So that requires you to talk a lot to your clients because it's a client based job. You have to like mm -hmm. communicate with your client any issues you met during your audit work. And for me, if if you can't understand them. And and if you can't express yourself clearly and efficiently, it's really difficult. But um, now I've been working for two years. I think I I've like made you some already progress. You adapted the environment. You yeah, you, uh, yeah. I tried really hard to um, you know just to practice, like to talk to yeah. my college, yeah. uh, my colleagues, and yeah, try to practice my English as as much as possible. Um, yeah, so it's not easy. 